What's up everyone? We're in a bit of a different setting. We made a production setup in the live room with the Neve and all the fun stuff, but more on that later. First of all, I want to talk to you about microphones. Let's go. As you may know, there are four different types of microphones. We've got condenser mics, which are generally divided into large and small diaphragm condensers. We've got tube mics, dynamic mics, and ribbon mics. We generally break these up in two groups. First, we've got the large diaphragm condenser mic, which is usually a side address mic, which means it picks up most of the sound from the sides of the mic rather than the front. They capture a lot of detail. They have a fast transient response and an extended high end, which makes them a popular choice for vocals. Okay, a condenser mic works as follows. We've got a capsule with a membrane and a backplate behind it. And as air hits the capsule, the membrane starts to move and changes the gap between the membrane and the backplate. This is what generates the voltage that is going to be your recorded signal. Oh, and don't forget that these need 48 volt phantom power. Then we've got the small diaphragm condenser, which is usually a front address mic. It shares a lot of the same qualities with the large diaphragm, but it has an even faster transient response because it has a smaller capsule. I really like these on pianos, acoustic guitars, hi-hats, and even snares. Ah. Then we've got tube mics. <laughs> tube mics are essentially large or small diaphragm condensers, but a big part of the amplification is done by a tube, which gives it a rich and warm sound. Rich and warm. Rich and warm. Dynamic mics. These are great workhorses. They're usually front address mics and most of them are built like a tank. They can easily handle high SPL sources like closed mic drums or a screaming guitar cabinet. A moving coil dynamic mic uses a magnet with a copper coil around it. This is connected to a membrane. When sound pressure pushes against the membrane, it starts to move and also moves the coil up and down the magnet. This generates a voltage which is the signal you get at the output of the mic. Ribbon mics, usually side address mics, though there are exceptions. Exceptions. Ribbon mics are very detailed. They have a fast transient response, though they're not really made for high SPL sources. They have a natural roll off of the highs, which makes them a bit darker, but they do take a cue really well, so getting that high end back in there is pretty easy. I really like these on drum overheads, strings, brass, and room mics. A uh, ribbon mic, which is technically also considered a dynamic mic, uses an ultra-thin ribbon between two magnets. When the ribbon moves between these magnets, a voltage is generated, which is the signal that the mic puts out. Oh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you like this. If you have any questions about mics, drop them in the comments below. I would also love to hear what your favorite mic is in the comments. Like, subscribe. All of that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.